Dear friends of Capsule of Hope, I welcome you to another segment. Today is Capsule Talk Show and with me here today is Miss J. Miss J, you are welcome to today's segment. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so basically I will not say much about Miss J. I want her to talk to us about herself. So Miss J, you know, a lot of people have been watching or following you on social media, most especially you, uh, what do you call it, Facebook. So they don't know much about you and they would like to know you. So who is Miss J. Thank you, like I said, thank mm. you for having me, yeah. Miss J. Yeah. Okay, my full name is uh, Kitimitsu Mokezi mm. and I hail from Ramoza. Mm. So Miss J is a speaker, mm. she's a spoken word poet and mm. she's a para-professional counselor. Yeah. Most people like to ask me, what does para-professional Exactly, mean? I wanted to ask, that, yeah. Um, mm. you, you've done a part of counseling, mm. you've mm. done some training before, okay. but you like, you're, you're, you didn't get um, enough, any, like, mm. more like a, a full course, you didn't mm. do the full course, okay. but I, I just did mm. it, like, mm. for myself, I was working mm. with Face Nation okay. Organization, okay. that's okay. when I, I learned. All right. And basically, uh, I'm a student, mm. yes, like you mm. said. Mm. Mm. I'm um, actually a graduate. Mm. Uh, I graduated last year okay. with a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry and okay. Biology. But then right. I, I proceeded with my studies now, pursuing mm. a postgraduate diploma in education, mm. and I'm measuring in chemistry. So basically, that's a, a bit about me. All right. Okay. That's 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 interesting. Uh, those watching us now, a child watching us now, and then he, she or he want to be like you. What what does it take? What does it take uh, to be able to get to where you are now? Like the, the requirement and... Uh, okay, the thing is the requirements will they'll usually change from year to year. Okay. But I will say that uh, for the, you have to have written, mm. if you have written pure sciences, that okay. is chemistry, okay. uh, biology, mm. and physics, mm. and maths, mm. they usually uh, want uh, 21 points from those three sciences. That okay. is get three Bs in, in mm. two of... In two of your sciences and mm. math, at least mm. get a D for. Oh, um, okay. Yes, at least. Mm. And uh, if you are doing like uh, double sciences, they know what I'm talking mm. about. Mm. If you are doing mm. double mm. sciences, mm. they also require that um your points are up to twenty one. Okay. B B B. Okay. That, that it it changes from year to year. So All right. You have to always be on track. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so it means that you have to be good in science, right? I've seen the good work you are doing, you know, you are trying to use your story to influence, mm -hmm. you know, to bring a lot of confidence and determination, motivation to a lot of people out there. So what actually prompted this? What, what prompted this whole action? Okay, um, mm. let me just say first and foremost, mm. uh, I have been, I've loved speaking from an early age of 14 mm. from form one of mm. course i wasn't always a speaker i was that child was deemed um mm. timid okay but then through i've read books of mm. the likes of mm. and cousin mm. then that, that's mm. when i started like loving motivation okay and i was a really high performer back then in junior and high school okay so i used to like motivate from a level of somebody who's like at the top okay you know? but then uh with my dream of wanting to become a medicine student mm. and when I got into Bachelor of Science in mm -hmm. general now, I, I found uh, it was really challenging for mm -hmm. me. Of course, I was always a top achiever, mm -hmm. but it was challenging for me okay. such that I didn't make the cutoff point to mm -hmm. medicine. Mm -hmm. And now I had to settle for a different course mm -hmm. of which some people were thinking, no, it, it shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. So all that pressure from society and feeling mm -hmm. like I'm not enough mm -hmm. made me to now mm -hmm. like flush away those gifts. Of course, they were there, but I just flushed away and just withdrawn from mm. so many mm. things that mm. i wanted to do mm. but then it was uh, after uh, around 2020 that's when i i i think it was it's, it's 2019 actually mm. Mm. i said you know what i have been depressed for so long mm. living in anxiety for so long because even in my second year i wasn't that person mm. anymore i wasn't that very vocal mm. to mm. say I, I undermine myself. Mm. So after that, I say, why not use now this brokenness mm. to lift other people? Mm. Of course, you used to to motivate from a level of someone who's at the top. But now, even if you are broken, you can still get up and motivate others because there are so many students out there who dropped out of school simply because they 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 too didn't make it to the courses that they wanted. So that's what motivated me actually to say bro from brokenness, pain to power. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So that is it from brokenness, from that pain yeah. to power. Mm. First of all, were you 
could hasten to this, something okay, like this. First and foremost, mm. I wasn't curious mm. okay. to do it. Okay. I, I, it's something that I, I just knew that I mm. love the helping mm. people. Mm. So I believe that it mm. was a call for me to come okay. to go and okay. help people. Okay. So, but when I got there mm. now, and uh, realizing, mm. of course, the first few months mm. uh, that work will not be too much, mm. you'll just mm. be coping. Mm. But then in the middle of that, mm. I, I found myself now in the middle of something that mm. I felt was really difficult. Mm. And in fact, that time mm. alone, I mm. faced a lot of anxiety mm. because mm. first of all, it was like, what if I don't make it? Mm. <laughs> those mm. questions, kind of, what yeah. if I don't make yeah. it? And uh, those panic attacks to see, mm. I, I, am I even going to make mm. it? Mm. So. I feel like even I, I suffered much from what mm. if I don't make it mm. syndrome to an, to an extent that it mm. made me to now lose focus of where I was going. Mm. So even when I didn't reach the target now, it it was really difficult. Mm. I kept myself withdrawn from mm. so many people, mm. especially those who looked up to mm. me, mm. you know. Mm. So even I remember I used to do a lot of volunteerism at mm. junior school, this mm. other junior school. Mm. So mm. I have a, I have a passion for working with deaf people. Okay. So I'd go there and just motivate some of the students, even work with other, those who mm. are deaf mm. and learning sign mm. language. I even stopped going there mm. because I, because I, I just know they too expected mm. a lot mm. from me. It's focusing on the goal, sometimes it scares you. Mm. So is it good that people just focus on, not always at the goal, but just focus the process? I'd mm. say it's good to mm. like keep on looking at where, mm. at where you want to go, mm. but mm. allow yourself to mm. go through the mm. process. Mm. Because the moment now you become too anxious of mm. where you are going, mm. you are going to get crushed. So mm. allow yourself to go through the process. Thank you very much. So how did you, you know, gather yourself, brace yourself out, pick up yourself and bounce back again? How did you do it? <laughs> okay, yeah. let me just say mm. it started around... Uh,